This is my brother's M45 again. And I asked him to pop the hood because it smelled a little peculiar. It smelled interesting. And now I look at this and I know the reason because I see spots like this. This spotting right here is usually a sign of a coolant leak. This right here. Coolant is green or blue, but whenever it's hot and touches anything else, it dries white. So, let's go ahead and pop this. I don't know why I'm smelling coolant. But you want to you wanna catch these things before they happen. Or before they get too bad. Okay. Yeah, you can see a lot of that, a lot of coolant over there. I see some spots over here as well. The fact that it's all over makes me feel like it's being blown by the... Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. It's being blown by the radiator fans. Cooling fans. And if you guys remember that video I had some time back, you remember I mentioned that your coolant was a little too full and I was concerned about why. But right now this thing is empty. Almost empty. It's all the way down there. So we're losing coolant for sure. You can see it here. You can see it all over. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Calsonic, Kanzi, Kansai. Nissan radiators always leak. That It's going to happen. It's either the plastic is going to crack or the seam is going to come loose. And in your case, your seam seems to be loose. <laughs> it's, it's, it's deteriorated. You can see the green right there. So, strategy is to... The, the best thing, the final thing is I will be replacing your radiator. I guess that's where the money's going for instead of mods. We need to replace the radiator. But meanwhile, what you can do to limp along is buy some coolant, 50-50 coolant from Walmart. You know, the or the cheapest you can get. Get some coolant in here, fill it up, and maybe if we open here, we'll be able to see how low it really is. Thing is, it's going to keep consuming coolant until until the radiator is empty and then you overheat hopefully you don't get to that but you want to put coolant in here and usually what happens is that when when the car cools down when the coolant system cools down it sucks sucks coolant from in there so you can actually just kind of keep adding coolant over here i can't say that the people that sold you the car knew that happened because i mean you drove it for almost 2000 miles without reducing the coolant in there but maybe maybe someone knew something but it was not smelling like coolant at all when we saw it and it was really dusty too so i don't think someone was trying to hide anything so but yeah think oh yeah looking underneath there you can see two patches and i bet if i put my finger on it it will smell smell like coolant so yeah radiators plastic radiators fail radiators fail in general nothing lasts forever plastic radiators do fail either where uh, when the plastic cracks somewhere or number two when the um, when there's a leak where the plastic meets the metal and I think that's kind of gotten you this looks like an original too how many miles oh dude and the shroud is loose we need to find a way to secure that it it looks not important right now but you want your shroud covering the fa uh, the, the radiator properly so that when your fans pull air, they're actually pulling it, pulling it across the radi uh, across the radiator rather than pulling it off the sides. You know, you don't want them to basically recycle air, hot engine air, engine bay air. You want it to actually pull air across the the coolant, the the radiator. So just a quick glance right now. Let's see what else. Oh, you, your filter's still looking good, but we still have the clip. Remember, I told you about the clip for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fun project, man. Seems like you'll be coming to Terre Haute a little sooner than you intended. <laughs> yeah. Well, glad, glad we could meet today so I could look at it. But yeah, I'd say we need to do something about that. So that's what I'd say. Go ahead and do that immediately. Just buy some coolant, add it in there, even before you get on the road. Just add it in there. And there's a gas station, I guess, if you want to buy from there, too. Yeah, add some, and then let's start planning on the replacement. All right, cool.